We had lofty ambitions. We wanted to build the library of the future. We wanted to build significant architecture that would be a destination for our community and for tourists from near and far. The library really is uh, more than just a building. It's really this hub of Austin that brings community together, but also shares knowledge, shares culture, shares the spirit of the city. We really all felt like we were working together to collaborate. I've never experienced that many people that were able to bring so many different ideas to the table. Early on in the design process, we went and really thought a lot about libraries and what it means to be a library in the 21st century. Given the site on the Lady Bird Lake and Shoal Creek, it was this opportunity to engage the natural realm as well as to engage the streetscape. We really wanted it to embody that spirit, and so the building literally bridges between the nature and the technology. We used daylight modeling and, and energy modeling to craft uh, the actual shaping of the building. Bringing daylight into the building by cleaving the building in half and, and allowing the light to slide down five stories into the building created a building that was very balanced in daylighting and also makes it intrinsically welcoming. We set fairly lofty floor-to-floor -floor heights for this building so that we could get our windows higher up so that we could drive daylight further into the building. And then obviously the largest move we did was this large six-story tall atrium that really is tuned with different skylights to drive light far down in the building. On the two-day sustainable charrette, one of the ideas that we explore even further was the rainwater harvesting system. We reused an old cistern underground that was used for the power plant that used to be there. Now it's become the collection tank where the water is used to irrigate the lawns and flush the toilets. It's really been a new way of using what is abandoned infrastructure. This community made a huge commitment to build the best library in the world. In fact, this library has almost everything and only thing that it needs is you. Two, three. Yes. Yay. And the ribbon is cut, ladies and gentlemen. The Austin Central Library is now open. To come down on a weekday night to speak to a group in the Special Events Center and it's, it's full of architects and you go upstairs and the art gallery is just overflowing with people there for an art opening and there's a, a quartet from the symphony playing on the top floor. The, the open architecture is amazing and for a public place to get such a beautiful building is Super impressive. One of the unique things about this building is that our rooftop garden, uh, where we have live trees and flowers, and you get a great view of the city and of Lady Bird Lake. It's a million dollar view, and it's free. As contemporary and forward thinking as the design is, it still maintains these certain traditional features. What's your favorite part of the library? Reading books. Reading books. If anybody can re resist the children's area, I don't know of them. It, it's really fun to walk in there and see a whole lot of our youngest customers, all about two foot tall, running around and, and having a great time. But then they go through the books, through the stacks, and then they continue to explore and then come upon a, a, a porch in a library. That's the kind of discovery that can excite a child, where the, the sense of place animates the child's curiosity. One of the most important spaces in our building is our innovation lab and our petting zoo. It gives people the opportunity to see new technology before it comes out. They can try it. 
and the Innovation Lab gives them the opportunity to use the Makerspace tools that we have in place. I can't begin to describe all the different people that call the new Central Library home now. Uh, you can come in, you can see everybody from every walks of life, from our new citizens, the students that go to the surrounding universities, to our homeless, to kids and children in our schools to come in and doing tours. This space is Austin. This place represents Austin in the very best way possible. It's a reflection of what the city values. It lives up to all my dreams. It's amazing to me, even though I was with it every day of the project. We're excited that it will be truly a, a magnet and a purposeful building that sets a standard.